Hi guys, this is uh, Dom A.K. Shells from the Pro LTCX forums. I uh, welcome you on my short, uh, quick and dirty video uh, that hopefully shows you how you get a star in the uh, MCDU of the MD11 and with that uh, most likely also with the 747 as far as my understanding goes these are both quite similar but uh, personally I don't, don't have the 747 so I will show you with the MD11 so there are a lot of uh, questions in the forum um, about how this is actually done and um, yeah therefore I'm hopefully able to show you with the MD11 here so um, I started in Frankfurt, Germany and uh, I'm currently flying to Berlin Tegel um, just self-active the PMDG MD11 and Pro ATCX as well as uh, Opus Weather and Snow FS Crew or anything else in Pro ATCX I disabled the uh, background shutter so you uh, can hopefully understand me a little bit better Normally, normally I fly with it uh, activated, but for this purpose I uh, muted that. So, um, what I did in Frankfurt for the flight planning, I created a plan actually with Pro ATCX version 10120, uh, sorry, as the uh, new version 1201 isn't actually released at the moment. If there is any demand or if you have further questions, I will definitely. I think make a video uh, that shows a complete approach from the uh, tip of the sun point on. But I will do this with the new version, not with the uh, current one. So, um, as I said, I created a plan and uh, loaded it into the uh, MCDU with the uh, company root function that uh, Cliff describes in another video and this, this is, uh, it is described in the forums. So, um, Contact Bremen Control on 119.82. Actually, that's in here. Um, has the last red point battle that is actually the uh, star entry point. And the uh, M11 puts it direct to the destination there. So, um, as I told you, we just passed some uh, time ago, three minutes ago, and see the M11 calculated top of descent coming up in two minutes and um, then in about 7 minutes actually battle so Protis here will uh, soon lecture us down in the lower flight level so we start our descent um, S battle is our last waypoint on the route and Pro ATCX assigns the uh, star around 30 nautical miles out of the last waypoint we then soon we hand it over to the Protis control when we are in descent I'm going to show you how you insert actually the star in there. At the moment if you don't do anything from battle, the MD-11 would fly directly to Tegel. So I'm just waiting for the uh, descent instructions, which should come up uh, quite soon. There it is. To level two seven zero. Descending to flight level two seven the MD-11 calculates the um, top of descent point at more or less the same as Pro ATC does here at the moment which uh, leads me to the thinking that the uh, star will actually be quite uh, direct here and we don't have to do anything so we can just uh, turn down the altitude and uh, stay in the profile mode if the MD-11 would have calculated the top of descent away way too early then we uh, would have set uh, your uh, manual manual speed so the speed doesn't drop when the M11 thinks it has to descend or the other hand if the M11 calculates too late and we would have to uh, altitude select here to get the plane actually descending so now this was working fine and we are uh, about uh, 32 nautical miles out so uh, we soon will receive our um, star information. One thing is to make sure you don't add the star to the destination airport which seems quite logical but it isn't. Um, if you do it so then the uh, star will put behind the airport so we'll, we will always overfly the destination airport and then go back to the star engine point, which makes absolutely no sense. So if you open the um, unselect key for your left here you can add a star, but you should. So always make sure what's standing on top. Five, five, nine, seven, 
descend to flight level 240. Descending to flight level 240. UPS 559. Select the uh, star you want to do with this in the last weapon. So UPS 559. There is a control. Six and a half miles out. So let's see what it says. Approach control UPS 5597 with you passing flight level 290 for flight level 240 and our heading is 050 on approach request vectors. UPS 5597 expect so, uh, vectors to final for the approach to runway 08 left by BAT Echo 6 Zulu ILS 08 Lima the, uh, the, uh, flight level 2 so we're going to be in battle in our active red band here and at the star. And select the key one right. Then you could either select the uh, star and later on the runway with uh, battle 6 Zulu you can uh, land on either 0, 8 left and right or you select a runway and then a corresponding star which makes normally sense if there are larger airports they have so many stars you're just clicking down there until you uh, reach your star you want so normally the ILS approaches are on top in every MCD so you just select ILS so right left here on the and select right and see all the corresponding stars we took uh, take a uh, battle 6 Zulu here as this is the star we are about to fly so when we select it, we cross check star to take a sixudo ILS right left is selected. This is what we uh, are told to do. So we insert. Then we make sure we go back to our active flight plan. There is no transition. If there was, uh, would be a transition assigned, we can pick it now, but there isn't. But we could just now. In the NGX, I think you can uh, pick the transition already before that. Uh, is inserted into the flight plan, but in the M11 you can select afterwards. So, if you go to the active flight plan, you see um, that there are some additional points like Garrett, Lanham, Ligpa, and uh, Mark is right left, and the runway is right left actually. And you get uh, um, this continuity here. I don't actually know why it is in there. Um, I don't see it very often. Maybe it's just in this flight wouldn't matter if you leave it in there. Um, the M11 will fly from Lanum to Ligba direct and this is what the route is about. So you can, uh, to clean this up, you can just go to clear and click to correspond and corresponding uh, and select key and it's out of there. So now it's as it should be Lanum Ligba direct. So the next one you want to do is make sure that uh, what is in there seems correct to you so you go to the plan mode here it shows a uh, novelty map so to say for your next waypoints I'll uh, use this little five five nine or seven descend flight level one eight zero and uh, then you can lift the uh, step through with the up button you can go to the next waypoint to see this is good this is uh anum then you will make a right turn more uh, Southeast to uh, Ligba, which is the uh, final approach fix, I, I think. And the uh, next one is auto marker and the runway. And there uh, is with the star cross corresponding the um, missed approach procedure. If you go further, then it's the D079 D point at 3000 going to the uh, LWB VOR and back to Lanum. This is the published uh, missed approach procedure. It's uh, read something like uh, run a runway heading to uh, five uh, four miles DME, and uh, not exceeding three thousand left uh, to LWBVR or something like that. Uh, so this is um, corresponding with what's in the charts. You want to make sure if you want to make sure this, that this is correct or just. Uh, so if we have a missed approach, we will end up in Lanum and will from there will be a uh, vector from there back to the approach. So this is completely fine and what you would expect. Yeah, that's all. That's how you add a star into your uh, MCDU of the MD11. See?
potatoes and this is completely what should happen. I will do a summation before a complete approach video sometimes later, um, so I will stop here. If you have any further questions, just um, drop me a line in the forums or open a new thread or write me a PM or anything else. Thanks for watching and good flying!